What is your strategy for this year? What are the challenges you're looking at kind of once again addressing for the industry? I just want to understand, you know, the just to get a glimpse of the things that uh, we can look forward that LF Energy will be doing this year. We have three main objectives for this year. Uh, the first and foremost is really engaging with with North American utilities and uh, policymakers, regulators, and the vendor ecosystem. Um, you know, it's it's an area we already have a uh, fantastic membership and engagement in Europe uh, from RTE and Aliander, um, and we see North America as just. Uh, an, an opportunity for us to add another tool to the toolbox uh, in terms of energy digitization, accelerating the energy transition there. So we're working hard on developing that. Um, another area that we're actively developing is uh, the open EV charging ecosystem. Uh, we happen to be throwing another event for that uh, also in May, May 15th and 16th in, in Dallas. Uh, in partnership with TI, we're, we're hosting an open EV charging summit um, because uh, EV charging uh, doesn't always work. Uh, I think one out of four charging sessions fails. And uh, as we make a very aggressive, urgent move to uh, e electric vehicles, um, it's a very important policy goal for the U.S. government. So we're working with the Joint Office of Energy and Transportation, um, but also private industry. Uh, we're, we're building out these electric vehicles and we need a place for them to charge. Um, and then the last goal we have is uh, really to build out data standards. Uh, we have a carbon data specification consortium, um, which is trying to reduce friction in, in, in accessing data required to um, understand progress towards uh, decarbonization goals or the content of green hydrogen, um, all, all sorts of efforts. Basically, we have uh, very ambitious decarbonization goals that required data-driven proof, um, and it's hard to get that data right now. Um, and so we are working with uh, folks like Google, Microsoft, uh, Utility API, and building out open source specifications for that, and really driving the industry towards more of a data-driven approach.